Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly a senior citizen here. Dust in the air. Cat hair. Thumbs up. Anyway, good morning. It is Tuesday. It is, what is it, the 12th? The 12th of February. And running around in my abdomen, I have a little sleepy boy. This is Dr. Snurf. I woke him up. He's actually been living in his little cigarette box. It's not little. I mean, little compared to me, but it's like a duplex. A duplex? A, a shipping container in size for him. So he's been living in the cigarette box and I woke him up. But it, it's sad when I don't have a hamster. And ooh, little guy. They've got little, nice little claws and the claws dig in, you know, but they're not very big or sharp. So here we go, little guy. Thank you so much. You go back into your cigarette house. There we go. Oh, he ran right into his house. Good deal. But he's happy and friendly. But their little claws, I mean, it's really weird because when they run around on your arm and stuff, you know, you, you need their claws to dig in to your flesh so that they don't go sliding around because otherwise they're going to fall. But their claws are not very sharp or very big, so they slide around really, really easy. So if you've got a hamster or a small rodent, then you're make sure like there that you're ready to grab them because if they fall it's it can be fatal instantly well and less instantly but more if they land nose first then there's a good chance they're they're gone so be careful, they're burrowing creatures. They live close to the ground for a reason. They're just, they're not very smart when it comes to heights and they will gladly fling themselves to their deaths. So, thumbs up for that. <coughs> and yes, very, very disappointing. After yesterday, when I took my camera out for walkies and then it continued snowing until about eight o'clock, there was like 18 inches in parts of the Shelton and parts of Washington and the Pacific Northwest and it went straight from flakes to rain and it's been raining all night so there's still some snow out there I mean you can't melt 18 inches overnight but the trees are mostly clear a lot of the snow has gone from hey it look it snowed and it's this much to yeah this is what's left and it's just a mushy mess on the roads and Nature doesn't care though. It would have been nice if everyone had a, a nice winter wonderland for a, a nice day, but life is life. Oh, itchy. It could still be keeping up with this kind of weather for you know the next day or two. So it could get really bad if it freezes, because if it freezes, then the, the whole town's going to come to a standstill because it's just going to be ice instead of snow stacks everywhere so uh not good oh my nose is so itchy i don't even know why because all of a sudden started itching my apologies Ooh. <laughs> past that i have not been doing much i've just been staying here and when i'm not doing videos i'm playing video games and if i'm not playing video games then i'm watching videos and if I'm not watching videos, I'm going out walkies, and so not a whole lot has happened. I mean, you've seen my walkies videos, so I've gone out walkies periodically. Last night, I didn't go because I, I got together to go, and then it was raining, and I was like, I wasn't going to go out into that. Because the way my boots and stuff are now, you know, regular textured ice, it grips hold of, and packed snow, they grab hold of, but with this melty stuff? That's nothing's gonna be gripping. It's gonna be slippy slidey everywhere. And so I was like, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna fall down. I'm not gonna hurt myself on this stuff. Just, just, to, just to walk. So didn't get anywhere. Hopefully today we shall see. There was. Oh, I don't have it with me now. I had a container of actual soy milk because I've been drinking a lot of the almond milk because it's the cheapest and it's kind of okay non-flavored just on its own because hey almonds but I get chocolate flavor because I like chocolate they also have vanilla flavor I'm, uh, I'm not a big fan of vanilla except for ice cream or yogurt 
and even vanilla yogurt I, I like to have fruit and stuff in it so vanilla is not uh, the best flavor so there's a lot of stuff of theirs I won't drink and then they got a lot of like coconut and they put coconut in everything so half the stuff available at the local Safeway is is coconut ruined I can't even look at <coughs> The rest of the stuff is incredibly expensive. Oat milk is like almost five bucks for a 64 ounce container, which is, well, what's three times, that's 1.8 liters, 1.78 liters approximately. And so it's expensive, almost five bucks for oat milk. I've never tried it, it's too expensive. Cashew milk is like four bucks for a container. Almond stuff, if you get from the semi-local brand, it's like three bucks for almost, well, yeah, it's 1.78 liters, so it's expensive, but it's good and good for you, and I'm not allergic to it, so hey, and so I, I get a lot of that stuff and I drink it because I like drinking things, but I don't want to drink just garbage. I'm getting older. I want my body to live as long as it can. <clears throat> so when I eat and drink, I try to make sure that if it's got sugar, it's lower or it's not just sugar because sugar is the leading cause of heart disease. So if you want your heart to survive, try to limit the amount of sugar intake you have. Processed sugar. I mean, regular sugars aren't going to do that to you because your body your body runs on sugar. It converts everything into sugar. Everything you eat gets broken down into sugars. And then the sugars go through your body and that's how you're fed. There's nutrients and all of that, but everything gets broken down into basic sugars. And so the sugars themselves aren't the problem. It's the processed sugar and all. Because processed sugar is the leading cause of heart disease and dietary heart disease. It's horrible for you. It's terrible. And stuff like the high fructose corn syrup and all that. No, it's not good. When they say, don't worry about high fructose corn syrup, it's just sugar. Yeah, sugar is like, you know, don't worry about this stuff. It's just tobacco. Just. Yeah, it's bad for you. It's just the leading cause of heart disease stuff we're putting in your food. Don't worry about it. So, yeah. All that stuff is terrible. I have to read up on the differences between high fructose corn syrup and corn syrup if there is one. Everybody all in the uh, industry and food business seems to be making this push towards going, hey, no high fructose corn syrup, but we're still packing our stuff full of corn syrup. Which of course, hopefully you never become allergic to corn because if you do, you're doomed. I've been watching a lot of videos on that and corn is, it used to be just a food product back in the 1950s in the US. Now corn is the platform for almost everything we make. It, as I've seen and heard, it's if you get a plastic bag or any sort of paper bag or any bag that you open up, it's dusted with corn dust to make it so it opens up easier. Everything is corn. They have found that if you examine our flesh molecularly, there is corn in each of our cells because there is so much corn. I talked with somebody on Facebook that I feel horrible for. I don't know how much longer she's going to be able to be alive or her kids. They're allergic to corn. Corn is in everything. Literally everything. If you get a fragrance, if fragrance, it says fragrance as an ingredient, in, in the ingredients, that's corn based. <clears throat> everything is based on corn. And when you're allergic to something, that's going to kill you. And so if you're allergic to corn, you're going to be losing 30, 40 years off your life. And the problem with allergies is with the human body, the more your exposure to something, the greater the chance you're going to become allergic to it. That's why people get allergic to latex proteins 
Not so much just because there's proteins in the latex, but because it's continued exposure to those proteins in the latex. That's why people can wear latex gloves for years and then all of a sudden they're allergic to latex. The continued exposure to those proteins, boom, suddenly you're allergic to it. Your continued exposure to corn, boom, you're allergic to it. And that kind of sucks. Which sort of ties into something else I was thinking about. <clears throat> one of the big problems with like smoking, if you smoke, one of the reasons you get antsy and all this and you need to smoke and then that, all that stuff goes away is because there is a substance in tobacco, nicotine, yeah, it's like nicotinamide, something like that, that the external product of the nicotine mimics a neurotransmitter our body makes. And so because you're flooding your body with that neurotransmitter, your body stops making the neurotransmitter. And so your brain literally only works properly when you're smoking because when you stop smoking, your body runs out of that neurotransmitter and you feel wrong and antsy and jittery and you got to get a smoke and you do because you need that neurotransmitter. And that happens with everything except and I don't know what the difference is or why. Because we have the endocannabinoid system. And there is one plant, one, on plant on the planet that mimics the neurotransmitters of our endocannabinoid system, cannabis. That's why it affects us. It mimics the neurotransmitters in our endocannabinoid system. The thing is though, and I don't know what the difference is, when you flood yourself with cannabis, it doesn't turn off your endo endocannabinoid system. You don't get antsy if you have, you know, it's been 12 hours since you've had some pot because your body still makes those endocannabinoids. And in fact, you can reboot your endocannabinoid system to work properly by flooding your system with cannabis stuff. That's how they've rebooted people's things, not even with activated, just with the raw cannabis plant. And it reactivates their endocannabinoid system. How? Why? Why does it work to fix things instead of turning it off? I don't know. There's got to be a reason. I just don't know how to find that. I mean, sure, Googling, that's a good thing, but <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to find answers. Like I still want to know why alcohol, rubbing alcohol, if you spray rubbing alcohol and stuff, or if you spill something terribly nasty smelling on your floor, if you just pour rubbing alcohol into it, alcohol destroys odors completely. Whoa, huge lag spike. I can only hope that that's going to continue working properly. But rubbing alcohol takes odors out of things. That's why if you don't want to wash your clothing, but you're afraid it's got a scent on it, you don't have time, you just take rubbing alcohol in a spritzer and you, and you spritz your shirt. Or if you have a quality vodka, just alcohol, you spray it lightly and as it evaporates, it takes the odors with it. How? I don't know. I tried to, to Google it. And instead, I had to go through 10 pages of one weird trick with rubbing alcohol or never wash your clothes again or fix your bed clothing with and nothing telling me how or why. <clears throat> so it works. It's incredible for that. And please be very, very careful. There's this one fellow, like, what's his name? Shoe Nice 22. I don't even know if he has a YouTube channel anymore. But at least he used to eat and drink things that were not made to be eaten. Like he would eat a tube of Elmer's glue or drink an entire, what, quart of like Jack Daniels right there. And on one of those things he did, he opened up and drank an entire bottle of rubbing alcohol. Now that will kill you. Rubbing alcohol is terrible poison. And it, you will pass out, you will go into a coma, 
convulse, you'll go blind if it doesn't kill you. He, even he said, yeah, I, I slept for like 20 some odd hours. And it's like, you're lucky you didn't die. So do not play with methanol. Even the fumes of methanol will kill you. Ethanol is okay, but it, it's poison, but at least it, it doesn't kill you immediately. Methanol will kill you painfully and horribly. Don't drink it. Oh, okay, smokes. And at a 45, no, 90 degree turn at 40, I've ruined the analogy. Anyway, though, I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab. I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people. And it is a range because even though I count American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my fibro and brain damage and more and my housemates being up and distracting me by talking in the hallways, they get up. Uh, I'm going to get lost. And if I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. We're just not good at pronouncing things. So if I do that, it's not on purpose. And I'm not reading the comments. I'm just thanking you for having left the comment. Good comment, bad comment, and different comment. Thank you for having left a comment. I'm going to read the comments, answer as many as I can, thumbs up each one I read afterward. But for right now, I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. So, here we are. <clears throat> with Evan Alexander. And thank you so very, very much. And Chemical Sam, greatly appreciated. Russian Moto, thumbs up and thank you. Azrael, greatly appreciated. Once Upon a Dream, heck of a name, I like that. Sebastian Ferris, greatly appreciated. And Haggins, 101, thumbs up. Florian, greatly appreciated. And Walking Thieves, ooh, greatly appreciated. Thumbs up. Aaron Kilborn, greatly appreciated. Tommy Huff, Thumbs up and thank you. Mega Mark 5, always good to see you in the comments. And Pandora NYC1, thank you very, very much for always leaving comments and watching. It is greatly appreciated. It's hard for me to talk to and remember who I talk to, and thank you. It is appreciated. So, Random Person F, greatly appreciated. Jean Andre Solheim Nadrebo? Ooh, I'm nowhere close, but thank you very, very much. And Random Videos Official, thumbs up. Just JNXN, thumbs up and thank you. Lil Syrup, greatly appreciated. Just Stupid Games, oh, be careful. Falling in the snow is no fun. And then, oh yes, I did actually have, it was Nick Barton, I believe, wanted to have a, a shout out. So that's like 24 we'll have. So thank you very, very much. And last but not least, Sarah McGuire. Thumbs up. Thank you, each and every one of you. It is appreciated to get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. And that is a very good thing. I mean, I'm depressed. And even though I'm waking up, I mean, I, I want to talk about this one in full because I feel both very wonderful and glad that I'm waking up. But also, I've lost decades. So... I feel both happy I'm waking up and sad that I've lost so much. But life is life. I mean, life is literally life. And hey, if you can check out my various links, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google Plus, not Google Plus anymore, NearlySeniorCitizen.com. If you could check those out, and if you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron, like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. Now, if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I do take all good wishes and deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very, very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very cool. Greatly appreciated. I would understand if you don't want to. But if you are down with it, I will do my very best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time, which will hopefully be further away than like next Tuesday. So for walkies videos, probably not going to happen unless it stops raining entirely or if it gets snowing again. So probably the, I mean, I've got a two, a, my two o'clock today, I have a snow walkies video that I did yesterday that's going to go live. So there's at least that. And I'm going to try and have a reaction video. There's going to be a game video and who knows what else I'm going to do. I mean, I might do something, I might not. It's hard to say. I want to keep doing things. I want my channel to grow. So that's a good thing. Well, hey, it's 19 minutes and 30 seconds. I can't really think of much else to say. So you take care. 
Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing. I have nothing to do and nowhere else to go, so I got nothing else to do but make videos.